I moved to New York uh, six years ago. I'm from Barcelona. I didn't have any specific goal. And I shared an apartment with two more people. I'm a waitress right now and a manager at the restaurant. My shifts are at night. And then after work, I would go out with my friends and have drinks. So I was living like a single <laughs> woman life in New York. Pretty fun. I had a boyfriend. We didn't live together, but I did have a boyfriend. One day, I realized I didn't get my period. I felt a little dizzy, so I thought I would take a test just to make sure that everything was fine. I ended up taking four tests and then I called a friend and I told her, look, I'm in trouble. I think this is happening. So she told me, okay, we need to, um, to make sure, so maybe we have to go to a doctor or something. I don't have a health insurance. So I found this one, 45th Street and 6th Avenue in Manhattan. And I'm like, what? That's Times Square. So it's gonna be a good place, I'm sure. So I went the following morning with my friend from Spain. And that's when they took another test. And it was the fifth positive test and from the last one, like, okay, yes, you are pregnant. How much more you need to know? I think what makes City All special is that this is a place that people can come and get away from the noise for a little bit. Um, living in the city, you're constantly bombarded. How we phrase it is standing in the gap, giving people a place and space to process. Stop trying to come up with a quick solution to what is viewed as a problem. So focus on the family, bought our ultrasound machine, and that's made a huge difference. Since I remember, I always thought that I would never have an abortion. I thought I would never consider abortion, but there was a tiny moment I had to consider that just because I was so scared. What if I can? What if I, I have to take this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so there was just one moment, one small one, very small one, that I thought maybe I can. But then this is how I met Abel. The moment I met Abel, Meredith, the first woman I met there, and I told her, I said, look, I really want this baby, but I don't know if I can have this baby. New York City can be very lonely, especially because a lot of people are transient. A lot of people don't grow up here, so they come here for school or for a job, and they don't have any family here. They just have their roommates or their partners, co-workers, things like that, and sometimes they can't even tell anyone that they're pregnant. The Vail is probably one of the only places in New York that a woman can get a free ultrasound in her earlier phase of pregnancy within the first trimester and not have to commit to something either way. And I think for a lot of women um, that's very empowering and like being able to give them information but not making them feel pressured towards one way or another. And so by having that ultrasound, it counteracts this false message of, oh, it's just a blob of tissue, oh, it's just your missed period, which is completely unscientific. And I think something that the pro-life community can definitely benefit from is being able to present the evidence. And so that woman feels empowered by her own choice, saying, look, I've looked at all the facts. This is what fetal development looks like, and these are my own wants and desires and instincts in this situation. I want to make sure uh, that everything is clear, that um, my tiny little moment that I thought I would terminate this pregnancy was before I saw the, the ultrasound. That's, uh, that needs to be very clear. <laughs> so the, all these thoughts were before I saw the sonogram. Um, the moment I saw that heartbeat changed everything. 
everything. That was life. And that was her. <laughs> Sorry. That sonogram made real that my daughter was there. So I had my positive pregnancy tests. Yes, and you can think, but you don't feel anything. I didn't feel anything until I was like 20 weeks pregnant. So you don't feel that there's uh, life in there, but seeing a heartbeat and that's inside you, you can almost feel the heartbeat inside. So that was real, that made me think, I'm a mom and I need to give life to this. And that's how everything changed. 